Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to reset a MacBook with an M1 chip. So if you have a MacBook with an M1 chip and you want to reset it because you want to sell it to someone else or for whatever reason, the reset process is a bit different than when you have an Intel MacBook. That's why I thought to make this video just to show you guys how to do the, the whole process. So obviously, before you do anything, you need to go to Time Machine and back up your MacBook because if you have important files or anything like that, you don't want to lose that. Well, therefore, you have one of these, an external hard drive, and you need to go to your time machines to just back up the disk into the, into the hard drive. Well, the second thing you need to do is go to your iCloud and you need to sign out from your iCloud. Therefore, you need to go to System Preferences, Apple ID, go to Overview, and now you can sign out right there by pressing this button. No, you don't want to keep a recovery. Just deselect that and hit continue. And now you're signed out. Just make sure that you are signed out everywhere. So go to your app store and make sure you're signed out. Well, if you have the option to sign in, then you know that you're signed out. So that's good also. And now let's go and jump to the subject of this video, which is how to reset a MacBook with an M1 chip. Well, what you need to do is go to this Apple logo shut down so you need to completely shut down your your um, your macbook so let's do that and once you know that your macbook is completely shut down what you want to do is hit this power button and keep pressing on it so before with the intel version you had to press this power button and right after that hit command r but that's not the case anymore you just have to press this power button and keep pressing on it keep pressing on it and just immediately it says continue holding for startup options loading startup options and just like that we now have the option to reset our hard disk once you see this screen go to options click on it hit continue and after a while, it will load up the screen from which we can reset this whole MacBook. So once you see this screen, just go and select your Macintosh HD. So you shouldn't let it here on macOS based system. You need to select this macOS, Macintosh HD and go and erase right here. So if I click erase and you can just let it on APFS, uh, you don't have to go to the other options. Just leave it at APFS and click on erase erase mac once again erase mac and restart and now the whole erase process will continue this may take um, a couple of minutes up to like a half hour just leave it doing its thing and come back to it one the once the whole process is done So once your MacBook is erased, this image will show up. So just choose your language. I'll keep it on English. Hit continue. Go ahead and select your Wi-Fi. That's on the right upper corner of your screen. So let me select this Wi-Fi real quick. So once your Wi-Fi is selected, you now can start with activating your Mac. Once you see this message, your Mac is activated, just hit exit the recovery. And now you can reinstall a new Mac OS Monterey. Just select that, hit continue, continue once again. Well, just agree to the terms and conditions. Select the Macintosh HD, that's where the software will be insta installed on. Select that, hit continue, continue once again. And this process or this step will take about an hour, I guess. Well, it says now two hours and 57 minutes. That's not the case. It will not take up to two hours. Just leave it there, go do your thing and come back to it once this whole process is done. So once this whole process is done, once the installation of Mac OS Monterey is on your Mac, you now have a fully recovered and erased Mac. You can just do whatever you want with this Mac. You can just add a new account to it. You can, you can sell it or you can yeah, give it to your niece or nephew or whatever you want. So now you don't have to worry about leaving your information in here. All your information is gone. If you've done the backup step right, all your information will be on the external hard drive. So yeah, that's actually it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. That helps me a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.